So these uh, lovely ear cups are just magneted on, so they come off quite nicely. Now what's happened with mine is that over the years the glue that holds this uh, black scrim, or what do you want to call it, sort of uh, plasticky papery stuff, um, the, the glue has gone manky, so it actually glues the, the, the ear cups on a bit. Um, but this is the right hand side, you can see there's a serial number there. Uh, and you know Bowers and Wilkins still I think support these a bit although more of that later um, so basically the, the, the ear cups just magnet on exactly the same both sides there we go as I say you can see a bit of stickiness on the glue on the left hand side that's where the cable comes in um, and there's a little press up thing there the cable just comes up this channel here and it's a two and a half mil uh, connector um, now I think you can probably still get the, well you can still get a 2.5mm um, connector but obviously you need to make sure it's quite small. Um, I think Bose cables are uh, the same sort of form factor with the 2.5mm on that end and a 3.5mm on the other end. Uh, at the moment I'm looking for a shortened version so I can plug it into a, uh, a Bluetooth adapter to make them wireless. So on this side, this is a, the side I started with, um, you just have to take off all this goopy stuff. And as I say, the glue has gone melty. Um, I used a bit of alcohol to clean it up. I've put it back. I don't know why I put it back. It doesn't seem to serve much in a way of purpose, apart from perhaps uh, reducing rattle. But once you've taken that off, you can see where the screws are to open this up. So the screws are here, here, and here. So I'll just undo those. As I say, there didn't seem to be any sort of tear down for the uh, P5s at all. So uh, for the home repairer, this hopefully this will be quite useful. So three screws, three screws there. Uh, and out they come. So be careful on this side. Uh, here you've got the connector that goes out and up and over to supply the right hand side. Uh, the little circuit board here is where the 2.5mm uh, is connected to and then two connectors here for this side driver. Now when I bought these uh, the uh, right hand driver was not working. Uh, tested continuity etc and uh, it was definitely the driver that had uh, popped and I got in touch with uh, B&W to see if they would sell me uh, replacements but unfortunately they said no we don't support that model anymore too old um, however you can part exchange for one of our 300 pound brand new ones um, and I don't have the budget for that so I thought right well let's find some replacement drivers um, now these uh, standard 40 mil um, headphone drivers um, I got these on eBay they were about a tenner for the pair, uh, which didn't sound very much for high-end headphones. Um, and I wondered if they were going to be any good. Um, when I got them, I soldered in the uh, right-hand one and left the old left-hand one in. Or oh, I can't remember which way around it was. Anyway, I replaced one and left the original one in place. Uh, and on the ear, the, I couldn't really tell much difference in the sound, to be honest with you. Um, maybe uh, if you're a top-end audiophile, then... Yeah, you'll uh, you'll notice a difference, but I didn't, uh, and I quite like the sound of these. Um, so they come out, they're gl they're glued in. Um, there's a, an indent here. Uh, we can get a screwdriver in to lever them out. You might want to just heat the glue up um, a bit, but not too much, like I didn't melt the driver. Um, but let's not talk about that. Uh, so yeah, it just prizes out, solder in, and off we go. So that's really basically all there is inside them. Um, but this is metal a really lovely feel um, of the uh, of, and design so there you go and you can see there there's the magnets that hold the uh, ear cups in place probably I don't know now in uh, in replacing the other side speaker I didn't want to get involved in taking all that glue and stuff off um, so once you know where the screws are uh, on this side, the uh, screw holes are exactly the same on the other side, just a mirror image. So you can sort of poke your screwdriver through the hole, through the um, 
material and get to the screw head behind. So there's one there, uh, one here just behind, beside the locating pin, and one there. Uh, so yeah, you can just uh, bung a screwdriver in, pull it off, solder the other side in. Easy peasy. So all reassembled. I've put the um, the horrible black goopy stuff on. I don't know why. I don't know. Just to, just for the sake of completeness, I suppose. It all folds up on itself and is horrible. But I say if it uh, if it uh, stops rattling and vibration, then okay, fine. So the connector plugs into there, and then feed around this little channel here. Feed, 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 feed. At bottom, pick up just magnets on. Bosh, done. Lovely. The uh, the sound on these, as I say, is lovely. I'm I'm, I'm more of a casual headphone user. I'm not uh, you know worried about high end audio so much. Um, and as long as it sounds decent, then that's fine by me. Um, they've got quite a nice tone. It's, it's quite a dark tone, but not muddy. There's plenty of bass, uh, and obviously the design of these things makes them so comfortable to wear. Um, which is that way around, isn't it? That's the left, lefty lady. Uh, so what I'm going to do is get a shorter uh, cable, uh, which is proving difficult to find, and I'm actually make, have to make a lead up. Um, and they can be plugged in to one of these little jobbies, um, which is a uh, rechargeable uh, Bluetooth uh, receiver. Um, of which I will do another video about these because there's a, a myriad of them uh, and they're all slightly different quality. So more on that later. Thanks for watching. Bye.